Hey everybody, Mogmire Chris here, and welcome to episode 20 of our Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown playthrough. We're getting close to the end of the game, and I think we only have uh, three more, three or four more main story missions, and I believe there's four DLC missions left. So we're getting there. We're getting pretty close to the end. But let us get into mission 20. Mission 19 left on, on a cliffhanger, so let's get in to see what happens. I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, this ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. We're all in the same boat, like it or not. If this war keeps going on like it is, it'll be the end of everything. The military loaded this thing to the rafters with planes. Some were fighters that were going to be delivered to bases in occupied territory. It was hit before it could complete the mission. Jackpot. The hangars were loaded with goodies. This scrap queen's got work to do. Alrighty, mission 20, dark blue. Trigger, everyone, listen up. The operation was a success. Erosion defense forces have been neutralized and all arsenal birds are down. However, those two new drones buzzing around have royally screwed up our plans. The Ocean and Erosion Coalition's air forces are in a sorry state thanks to them. We might not even have any viable aircraft. According to the Scrap Queen, the drones are trying to use the Space Elevator's transmission capabilities to send their data to drone manufacturing plants across the continent. They're trying to strengthen their numbers. What's worse, their data contains a depth of war experience, so the newer aircraft will be more tactically advanced. If that's the case, this war will never end. We need to take both drones down no matter what it takes. We'll do it! So we have homes to go back to. Well, the Scrap Queen's on our side. She says she can make any aircraft fly. This is our final mission. Trigger, let's go. We've got a goddamn war to end. I stand corrected, actually. I believe this one is the last mission, and there's four more DLC missions. So, my math was a little off. But, let's get into it. Come 
Drony drones. Try using this, because it's get a better chance of actually hitting. Pardon my language, but I don't care. <laughs> These guys are really hard to fight. Speed back up. My altitude's too high too.
on, come on, come on. There we go. Trigger to score to kill. Hell yeah! You finally did it! Way to shoot, Ace. But of course that's not it. There's a tiny drone attached to the other drone. Hell oh, yeah. UAV is down. Radar signal is lost. Still really the most intense thing I've ever been in. I can't wait to tell my son about it. The space elevator is just powered up. Looks like we've made it in just a nick of time. Fortunately, you've prevented Jan and me, including Trigger's flying style from leaking. Got a special bottle of wine for occasions like this. Let's see if we open it. Can you hear me? Oh, she's alive. Who the hell is that? More importantly, I thought Trigger destroyed all the drones. It's still on its wings, yet it's still flying. Can anyone hear me? That aircraft needs to be taken care of. Of course, there's one more. I see something on the radar. The UAV is alive and kicking. Ah, uh, yes. It's that an eighth combat final mission if you don't fly through a tunnel. leads to the space elevator. Trigger, you're gonna have to fly into the tunnel after the UAV. Where's the escape vector? There's enough space for him to turn beneath the elevator. That's a suicide mission! Count, where are you going? We rely on Trigger too much. He's gonna need help. You can't be serious, Count. Yeah, well, you had no problem with Trigger doing the same thing. Trigger's different. We'll see. You damn fool. Don't worry. I learned something from my last squadron. Caution. Stick with Trigger, and you'll make it. Okay, looks like we're lined up pretty well. Hopefully, I don't crash into the wall because I'm overcorrecting. Alive. Excellent. So you're both okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What makes you think that? No time to explain. The radio will cut out soon. It'll take a short time for the drone to send over the data. You need to destroy it as fast as you can. There it is. It's flying right back down. Uh, they're waiting for you 
outside. I'm not gonna let you drop here. No sign of the drone. Did it take another path? Doesn't matter. We know where it's going. We can catch it. Oh, slow down, slow down. I'm gonna before I overcorrect and crash into the wall. Long ass tunnel. Oh, uh, that's quite the problem. It appears I can't get any more thrust. The drone is turning. We'll send its payload. Shoot it down, trigger. Oh, man. Darn, I missed. I didn't do it. Oh, so good, too. Through the tunnel. First try through the tunnel. Uh, luckily, it should start us right through here. Okay, let's focus on the drone first instead of the arrays. All the repeaters down. Whew. Hey, I'm being serious here. That's right. We're going home. I thought of a way out of here. The space elevator. The windbreak is hollow, and there's no ceiling all the way up. Not sure if my bird can handle it, though. Fly! I know you can make it! I'll attempt a belly landing. Get out of here! Everyone's waiting for you! Okay. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Alrighty, first try through there. That was nice. I wanted to wait until I had less fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. What? I barely... Oh, I was worrying about hitting that thing. Ugh, it's so annoying. We can't give up. We have to wait.
We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? I can't tell you how proud I am to be the first to land a Wait, what was that board. transmission? This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. She is a character from Ace Combat 5, uh, one of the original PS2 games. So, a bit of a, an Easter egg there. The lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. It's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us, too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. dark blue, to the heavens and beyond. Da, 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 da. And that's the end of the game, or at least the uh, the first campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the credits, but if you guys want to go back, I guarantee that the this song is in the soundtrack. So, but that was. Um, the first campaign for Ace Combat 7. There are four other um, DLC missions, which I will be doing, of course, if we do want to finish this game. But that was the first campaign. Lots of fun. Um, that last mission, oh man, that tunnel is so stressful to fly through, man. And that's basically how every last mission is in most Ace Combat games, is you gotta fly through a tunnel and do a thing in a tunnel. And it 
sucks. <laughs> but that was um, Ace Combat uh, Mission 20, Dark Blue. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough so far. The DLC missions are some of my favorite missions ever. They have the craziest dialogue I've ever heard in a, in a video game. So it's really funny, even though they take it totally seriously. But I will see you guys in the next episode where we will start tackling the DLC missions. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next video. See ya. Bye-bye. Uh,